Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss electrolytes and their importance. In our previous videos, we studied what are electrolytes. Today we will discuss what are the functions of electrolytes. Electrolytes are important to maintain osmotic pressure. We also studied what is osmotic pressure and how it is helpful for the movement of water inside the body. The second function is to maintain pH inside living organisms. It is also important to maintain normal function of the body. The third one is the to maintain membrane potential and uh, the transmission of nerve impulses. And they are also important to maintain ionic balance inside the body. So these are the functions of electrolytes. They are also important in movement of the contraction or relaxation of different muscles like smooth muscles or skeletal muscles. Some important electrolytes are the electrolytes may be cationic or anionic. Some important cationic electrolytes are sodium ion, potassium ion, calcium ion and magnesium ion. These ions are major electrolytes inside living organism. Similarly, anionic electrolytes are chloride ion, bicarbonate ions or carbonate ions, phosphate ions and sulfate ions. These are the anionic electrolytes inside the living organism and some other electrolytes are also present inside our body but these are the most important and major electrolytes inside our body. So we will discuss one by one. First is the sodium ion and sodium ion is important because it is the major extracellular cation. It is present extracellular fluid and outside of the membrane of the cell and it regulates blood volume because it is present outside the cell and it maintains osmotic pressure because of which water is absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and the blood volume increases. Similarly, it regulates pH balance. It is associated with blood pressure. If the blood volume is high, so blood pressure will also be high. It is involved in transmission of nerve impulses because of the active or passive membrane potential and it is involved in muscle contraction and relaxation. So these are the importance of sodium. So there are different conditions if the sodium level is high or low inside living organisms like first is hypernatremia. Hypernatremia is the condition in which blood sodium level increases inside our body. And uh, what are the reasons or how it is hypernatremia occurs because of some kidney diseases, because of congestive heart failure or high intake of sodium or high intake of sodium salts in, in our diet. What are the effects of hypernatremia in, on our body? It causes edema. Edema is the retention of extracellular fluid inside uh, the pulmonary organs, heart or muscles. In pulmonary it is called as pulmonary edema. In heart it, it, it is called as cardiac edema and in muscles muscular edema. So there are different types of edema because of high sodium level. The second is the high blood pressure due to high blood volume. If sodium ion increases in our body, it causes high blood volume and because of which high blood pressure will occur. The condition in which sodium level decreases or lowers down in our body, the condition is called hyponatremia and during this case, it, is, it occurs due to vomiting, sweating or diarrhea. So these are the conditions are you know, due to which hyponatremia occurs. And what are the effects on our body? It causes low blood volume and due to low blood volume our pressure, blood pressure lowers down and then we take sodium salts or something in liquid so that our blood volume increases and blood pressure is maintained. The second important cationic mineral inside our body is potassium ion. Potassium ion is the major intracellular cation. It is important in muscle contraction and relaxation transmission of nerve impulses 
It also helps in acid-base balance and important in steady heartbeat and rhythm. High potassium lowers blood volume and eventually lowers blood pressure. As we know that high sodium level decreases uh, increases blood volume and increases blood pressure whereas if potassium level increases inside our body it lowers down blood volume because it is intracellular potassium ion and it causes osmotic pressure inside the cell due to which the water is in water intake occurs inside the cell and blood volume decreases when blood volume decreases lower blood pressure occurs similarly there are two conditions because of the high level of potassium or low level if the potassium level increases it is called hyperkalemia so high blood blood potassium level why it occurs the reasons are kidney disease so most of our uh, cations or anions or electrolytes inside our body becomes abnormal due to kidney or renal diseases or high intake of potassium diets. What are the effects on our body because of hyperkalemia? It alters normal heart rhythm, it lowers blood pressure and heart attack may occur. The second condition in which potassium level lowers down, it is hypokalemia. It is the low blood potassium level. <coughs> what are the reasons for low blood potassium level? It is because of kidney diseases, diuretic medication. Diuretic medications are those medicine which causes more urination like uh, uh, heart, heart diseases. During heart disease we take medicines or diuretic medicines kidney diseases and metabolic and diabetic acidosis in our future videos we will discuss what is metabolic or diabetic acidosis or alkalosis what are the effects on our body it causes irregular heartbeat it increases blood pressure it increases muscle weakness and muscle cramps so muscle cramps occurs also occurs due to low potassium level inside our body if our potassium level is maintained our muscles cramp can be uh, can be weakened so the next is the chloride ion chloride ion is the major anion outside the cell so it is the major extracellular anion it is the component of hydrochloric acid inside our stomach it assists in immune system. 3 gram chloride per day is the recommended daily allowance, which it may be, it uh, almost it is 1 teaspoon. And it is the recommended daily allowance, RDA, by the approve, approved by the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, USA. High intake of the chloride causes hypertension. Chloride less can occur due to vomiting or diarrhea chloride when chloride loss occur it because it, it can be occur because of vomiting or diarrhea like sodium ion decreases because of diarrhea or vomiting the another important anion inside our body is phosphate ion or it may be in the form of phosphorus so it is major intracellular anion it regulates body fluid it, it is critical in bone formation. 85% of the bones are made up of phosphorus in P4 form. Part of the phospholipid bilayer. We studied in our biochemistry lecture, cell membrane or cell structure, that in phospholipid bilayer, fatty acids are esterified with phosphate group and also in present in monolayer, by monolayer membranes. It is present in lipoproteins like low density lipoproteins and high density lipoproteins these pro lipoproteins will be also discussed in our future videos it is present in dna rna and atp in dna or rna it is present as phosphodiester linkage high level can occur due to kidney disorders and high level causes convulsions and muscles sperm so muscle sperm and convulsions can occur because of high level of phosphorus. So in summary, 
we studied a lot of uh, electrolytes but the major electrolytes we studied are sodium calcium chloride potassium and phosphate so sodium and chloride are the major extracellular electrolytes while potassium and phosphate are the major intracellular electrolytes so thanks for watching my video